Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert all in the air fryer. Oh my gosh, B, they already look so good. What? I think the name of this chicken accurately describes you as well. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it in half. Girl, what did you just do? <laughs> Oh my gosh! What? That is so uneven. Okay, so if you have been around here for a while, you have probably heard me say quite a few times how much I love the Chick-fil-A breakfast bowl. If you love Chick-fil-A breakfast, but you have never tried their chicken breakfast bowl, you are seriously missing out. I have turned like so many of our friends and family onto this. So it is literally a bowl with scrambled eggs, melted cheese, their hash browns, plus their chicken nuggets. Like seriously, it's so good. So I'm gonna try and recreate that today in my air fryer. It should be very simple, very easy. And to make it even just a little bit more like Chick-fil-A, I'm actually going to be using my Chick-fil-A knockoff chicken nuggets that I always get from Sam's Club. They're very good if you guys have not tried these. Trust me, they're delicious. And then I also picked up a bag of the Orida, I hope I'm saying that right, Golden Crispy Crowns, which look and taste just like the Chick-fil-A hash rounds. So if you flip this bag over and look at the bag, it actually has a couple different heating instructions for you. There's the oven, the microwave, and then down here, they actually tell you exactly what to do for an air fryer. And we've tried these lots of different ways. And I'm telling you, in the air fryer is by far our favorite. They're like crispy and just perfect texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the air fryer at 390 for five minutes and then these will be done. I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw our little hash browns in there as well. They may just take a couple extra minutes. Okay, so two other air fryer tips that I have for you guys is one, to just kind of lightly spray whatever you are throwing in the air fryer, especially if it's like frozen chicken or frozen potatoes of any sort. That way while it's cooking, it kind of gets extra crispy on top and it just gives like a really good texture. And then my second tip is always to pull out your basket like halfway through or even twice while whatever you're cooking in there is cooking and just give it like a nice little toss. That way everything gets cooked really evenly. So once my chicken nuggets and hash browns are done cooking, I'm just taking them out and cutting them up into bite-sized pieces. And then I'm going to whisk together. I started with two eggs. I ended up adding a third one. And y'all know I like to put just a little dollop of sour cream in my eggs. It makes them so rich and creamy. If you haven't tried it, you should. And then we're just going to pour this on top. Okay, so here is where things get a little bit crazy. You're gonna need some sort of like oven safe, air fryer safe container to assemble this. I actually went to Walmart to look for a cake barrel and could not find one, but I know that my glass Pyrex is oven safe, so I'm hoping this is gonna be just fine. We're gonna try this out together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hash browns and chicken in here and then pour my eggs on top. We're gonna pop this in the air fryer at 350 for about five minutes. We'll take it out kind of scramble up those eggs, put it back in, add some cheese, melt that, and then our breakfast bowl will be good to go. I'm gonna add one more egg to this. I'm 
a little bit nervous about this, but I think it's gonna be okay. If it's oven safe, I'm thinking it should be air fryer safe, especially at 350 degrees, so we shall see. I'm actually having more of like a brunch than breakfast. I had a dentist appointment this morning. It went great, no cavities. They said my teeth looked great, so that is wonderful. Um, but of course, I did not get to eat breakfast and I'm just now getting back home, so it's gonna be a really good little brunch. Okay, so it's been five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of fluff up these eggs. You can see around the edge, they're getting nice and done, but the center still has quite a bit of liquid. So we're just gonna kind of scramble these and then add some cheese, pop this back in for just a few more minutes, and then our breakfast bowl will be done. Okay, I'm so excited to try this and see if it tastes like my Chick-fil-A breakfast bowl. It's still so hot, so I'm trying to let it cool down. But all together, I think it was in the air fryer for about 15 minutes. So I did about six minutes for the chicken nuggets and the hash browns. And then, um five minutes with the eggs, stirred them, and then it was about five minutes more, and I took it out whenever there was about two minutes left and sprinkled my cheese, just because I didn't want the cheese to get like too crispy, and it's literally perfect. I cannot wait to taste it. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so excited. It tastes so good. So, so, so similar, and I can make it at home so I don't have to like go out or spend the money, I can just literally make my favorite little breakfast at home. And it's funny because I'm not really someone who likes all of my foods kind of mashed together. I really like them more separate. But for this, for some reason, it's like the taste of the hash browns, eggs, chicken and cheese all together. It's like the perfect complement to each other. They're just so delicious. But anyway, I'm gonna go eat my delicious little brunch and then I'll meet you guys back here in the kitchen in just a little bit. We'll make some lunch. I'm gonna do some buffalo cauliflower. I cannot wait. That's like one of my favorite things. And then tonight, whenever Bunky gets home, we have like a whole meal plus dessert plan on the air fryer. I'm so excited. Okay, so to my cauliflower, I'm just gonna add a little drizzle of olive oil. You don't need a whole lot, like probably around a tablespoon. And next I'm gonna add a little bit of melted butter. This is also not very much at all, just enough to kind of coat that cauliflower. And then to season it, I'm gonna use some salt, pepper, garlic powder, which is the blend, and then also a little bit of this ranch seasoning. Now I'm just gonna give this a big toss. Okay, so my 10 minutes is up. They're already looking so nice and getting kind of crispy in there. I did take them out halfway and shake them. So now I'm just gonna transfer them from my air fryer basket back to my bowl. And now it's time for the good stuff. So you're just gonna use whatever your favorite hot sauce is. Y'all know I love me some Franks. And you're just gonna pour it right over top and then over top, over top of them. <laughs> You're gonna pour it right over top and then give them another shake and pop them back in the air fryer. Okay, so these are going back in for five more minutes at 350 and they're gonna be done. But I am gonna pull this out with about two minutes left, top it with my blue cheese and let it get all nice and melty. But 15 minutes in the air fryer at 350 is all you need. Okay, this looks absolutely scrumptious. I cannot wait to dig in. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely delicious. Um, woo, a little bit of spice. This was like a while back, but Bunky and I made um, fried cauliflower one time with you guys, and 
That is one of my all-time favorite foods ever. But this way of making cauliflower is obviously just like a little bit healthier, but still has all that flavor and is still so good. This is like the perfect lunch snack, or even if you were like having a party, you can make this as like a little appetizer and it would be so easy for you to make. And you can make like large batches of it at once. It's amazing. So I've got to go run some errands. I will meet you guys right back here whenever Monkey gets off work and we'll make some yummy dinner and dessert. So last night, Bunky and I definitely went and got Mexican for dinner. It was Taco Tuesday, and we decided we wanted some chips and salsa and queso. So we are making dinner tonight in the air fryer, and Bunky just got out of the shower. He cut our grass. I cut the grass for the HOA got us. <laughs> Again. Yeah. And I'm sure he is super hungry and ready for a good, delicious dinner. So this is going to be super simple. I kind of have everything laid out here, so let me show you what we're making for dinner tonight. Look, Bunk. I cracked my egg and there was two yolks in there. Oh my gosh. That's never happened to me before. Okay, so we are gonna make this hot honey chicken strips. This has like my name written all over it. It's gonna be so good. I know I've shared this with you guys tons of times, but this is one of my favorite cookbooks. It's the big book of air fryer recipes and I will link it down below for you guys. I've gotten so many great ideas out of here. So first things first is we need to coat this chicken. So I went ahead and made like our little dredging station. So we have our flour here, our eggs, and then our panko. Normally I like to use panko plus breadcrumbs because coverage and crunch. Coverage and crunch. Oh, put on further furthermore, Bunky. I think the name of this chicken accurately describes you as well. Oh, Bunky, thank you. I'm hot honey. Yeah. <laughs> yes, honey. Yes, honey. So anyway, um, I thought we had breadcrumbs, but we don't, so we're just using the panko. So, over here I have my little spice mixture, and in here we have some smoked paprika, a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic, so the blend, and then also a little bit of cayenne pepper. I'm gonna mm. mix this together, and I'm gonna pour half of it in the flour, and half of it in the panko, that way it's nice and seasoned. That's brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. I, I got a brain every once in a while. And then we'll go ahead and dredge our chicken and get it in the air fryer. And I totally forgot one seasoning in my little mixture. I also put a little bit of ranch seasoning in there because y'all know I'm not making a recipe without it usually. <laughs> the recipe did not call for that, but I know it'll make it just that much better. Will you, will you uh, beat these eggs once more, please? Why? Just to make sure that they're good and freshly beaten and nice and light and airy. <laughs> okay, I'll beat your eggs. So we're gonna go, thank you. See, Bunky, this is why I need you in the kitchen, teamwork. Plus, it's just so much more fun when I get to cook with you, you know? I know, it's very enjoyable. It's very enjoyable. Okay, we're gonna go um, flour, egg, panko. So let me get you situated, like in order. How about that? I like it, that's a good technique right there. It happened to work out, didn't it? Plus because I feel like a lot of the spices kind of sink to the bottom like through all the panko. Mm. So when you shake it like that, you really get like the spices in there. Even equitable distribution. Yes. I'm trying to be very gentle as to keep as much of that on it. Wow, you can see the spices in that one. Yeah, these are already looking so good. Um, You know how yesterday I made my like Chick-fil-A dupe breakfast bowl? Oh. I forgot I'm, to tell you. I'm sad I didn't get to try that. Yes, I forgot to tell you. It was so good. And I used the glass little spillage yeah <laughs> i used our glass pyrex i was so nervous oh, yeah. it was gonna like shatter in there it worked just fine i remember you asked me about that yeah and for all of y'all <laughs> who were saying about the grill did you see their comments that maybe like the little starter switch is like the battery's dead oh yeah the battery yeah are you gonna no, check I didn't it tell you that yeah the battery it's definitely just the battery that's dead in there okay i mean your work is magnificent. I must say, if it turns out 
anything close to as good as it looks right now, we're in for a treat. Ooh, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Okay, these look beautiful. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop these into our air fryer, lightly spray the tops of them, and then we're gonna cook them on 400 degrees for 10 minutes and we'll flip them halfway. Oh my gosh, B, they already look no, so can... good. What? Wow. That I, is insane. I cannot wait to try other recipes in here. Okay, we're gonna flip these over. I'm gonna spray this oh other side. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. And then five more minutes, these will be done. We'll make our special sauce. I cannot believe this. And of course, we're having some rice peel off on the side. <laughs> special request from Miss B. <laughs> Look, she's already hiding. She's so embarrassed. I know. I'm sure. We got to show y'all Daisy's haircut. Look at look at this girl. <laughs> so we took her to get her hair cut. And they asked me, okay, do you want her paws like cut down as well? I was like, yeah. Thinking they were going to cut them the same length. <laughs> Go ahead and the same length as her body. Y'all, what did they do to my precious little girl? It actually already looks better than it did the other day. Yeah, the other like, day, she looked she had was, duck feet. It was bad. <laughs> she looked like, uh, what kind of animal did I say? She kind of looked like a, an alpaca. Yes. An alpaca. Little baby Billy Goat. Billy. But she's beautiful no matter what. But we have been dying laughing over these paws. She's a lamb. Like, what was someone thinking is what I want to know. They weren't. Ready? I'm ready. Ready. Ooh, girl. She got nice and crispy. Wow. Looky. Looky. It's, it looks amazing. I just cannot get over, like, Bunky. This literally, we coated it, and it took 10 minutes, and the chicken's done. And I can't I really, get over how fast. I really fast. don't feel that guilty about it. Like it's, I don't think it's like it's good. I mean, it's it's pretty good for it's you. It's pretty good for you. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Could you hear it? Oh my! Oh my gosh! Funky. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. That's some of the most beautiful chicken I've ever seen. Same. <laughs> I cannot get over this. Like y'all. This chicken looks so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna put our other three pieces in there, get those cooking, and then we're gonna make our hot honey sauce mm -hmm. to go the, on top. That drizzle. The drizzle. And you won't believe how easy the hot honey sauce is. It's literally hot sauce and honey mixed together. We'll drizzle it over top. Like, I am the most excited for this dinner. You should have used our baby whisk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where this came from. Your mom. Oh, I thought so. I have no idea. I think this was like your Grammys. I'm, well, I'm telling you. Did she give it to us this as a camper? Been, this would have been the perfect application for mixing that hot sauce. It's like a honey. Barbie whisk. It's so small. Yeah, this is for a daisy whisk. That's a daisy whisk. Okay, so we have our hot honey chicken that looks and smells amazing. I made us like a little Caesar salad, and then we have our beautiful fluffy rice pilaf thanks to my bunky. So we're gonna plate this up and then let you guys know how we like it. We're gonna take a bite at the same time. That's better than what you get in a restaurant sometimes. <laughs> These are good. Yeah. You know what I love? I love that. I'm gonna need a, a knife. Yeah. I love that even if you did not want to do them like the hot honey style, you could do these just as like regular chicken tenders, yeah. 
for your kids or for your adults who eat like kids. And they're like a great way to like make them super simple mm -hmm. and probably a lot healthier for you. Like they're delicious. They're so good. I need some more of the um, juicy goodness. <laughs> I definitely think that what makes them so like um, crunchy or have like such a good crust is lightly spraying them with that oil. So that's like a must. You have to do that. But we're not done. We're making dessert after we eat this and it's going to be epic and amazing. I know my bunky cannot wait. Okay, I don't know why this song is stuck in my head, but I have that Destiny's Child song that's, I don't think you're ready for this jelly. You know why? Why? Ain't nobody ready. Ain't nobody ready. I'm so excited. <laughs> we are making air fried Oreos. They are going to be so good and so easy. So all you need to make these is obviously some Oreos and one can of crescent rolls. So we're gonna lay this out and cut the crescent roll dough into squares and then wrap it around the Oreo. I think Funky wants to try like double Oreo. Yeah, we're gonna we're see. Gonna try. And then once they come out, we're gonna sprinkle them with powdered sugar because why? Because we're extra, they're gonna be so good. <laughs> Can we drizzle some chocolate syrup on there? Oh, yes. I mean, are we having a funnel cake? It's basically, Pretty much. are we having a funnel cake with some Oreos inside of it? <laughs> that is what we're having, it's gonna be so good. Oh my, oh my gosh, guess what else? What? We got caramel syrup. Bonky. I'm, this is unimaginable. If this is his, I mean, for real. I I think I'm about to change your life because I don't know if y'all know this, but my Bunky loves him some Oreos. I do, but I normally love me some Oreos that are cold, soaked in milk. Yes, you do. And I don't really love sweets that much besides crack cake, which by the way, I have been thinking about so much lately. And then tonight, Bunky saw our like bunt pan down in the cabinet. And he was like, Bunky, I just saw that bunt pan. Yep. And I was like, what's that mean? He said, crack cake. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna roll out my dough and then I'm gonna kind of pinch these seams together because we're gonna just actually cut these, like each rectangle, we're just gonna cut in half. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it in half. Girl, what did you just do? <laughs> there is a dotted line to Bunny, follow. Bunny, I tried to see on the dotted line and I just got off track. This is why I'm not a good scissor cutter either. We're, the, do you wanna do it? We can recover from this. No, it's fine. Okay, it's okay, fine. okay, okay. I, mean, <laughs> I know Bunny, but I don't know why I cannot stay on that line. Let me try a little harder. It is just, where, who? I'm scared I'm not cutting my way through it. Who pulls a pizza cutter? You push it. Okay, well, Pete, I'm pushing. Oh, Maybe you should have done this. Okay, and now we're just gonna cut these in half. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? That is so uneven. Like what, this is so small. Bunky, it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh my Lord. This is why I'm not a baker. Because you got to measure I, stuff No, I can't that. handle your preciseness. Like, I like to just, you know, dip it and do it. You and like you to, like to be so precise. You like to color outside of the lines. <laughs> now I know why you got the little strips. Repairs. <laughs> oh, is this your double double one? <laughs> <laughs> that, that one is too, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so funny. Okay, so to lightly spray these, instead of using olive oil, I'm just gonna use this regular Pam. So if you have like this, or like a, I don't know, butter spray. A canola spray, something that's flavorless. So just very lightly, they don't need a whole lot. You're probably gonna want to back up a little bit. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, 350 for about five minutes. We'll check on them halfway through. I mean, does this look like a million bucks or what? Five minutes and we had beautiful air fried Oreos. I cannot wait to cut one open and see what's inside. Okay, I already cut one of them so I could take my cute little picture. But let me just show you how easily 
these things cut. Like, oh my gosh, y'all, yeah. y'all. Oh, I'm so excited. You, you try and cut a, an unair fried Oreo like that with a knife, and you're gonna have yourself a time. Yeah, you like wrap, this is you beautiful. Wrap it in crescent dough, put it in the air fryer for five minutes, like butter. I can get down with that. <laughs> um, I think it's like creamy, delicious. The dough is like perfectly cooked. It's not doughy. It's like you know, fluffy and good. That bite was really good. Oh, man. The only thing I think would make these better is if you did double stuffed so there's more, like, creaminess in the center. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have powdered sugar all over me, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I will leave all the recipes linked down below for you guys. I love you. Thank you for hanging out with us in the kitchen. Let me know down below if you like this kind of video and you want to see more air fryer recipes or more slow cooker, instant pot, Dutch oven recipes. Let us know. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. All right. I don't I think you're ready. I don't think you're ready. <laughs>